Hey guys, here's what you're going to need to make this project. You're going to need some kind of candle holder, tissue paper, black paint, Mod Podge, or you can make your own, a paintbrush, and something to either hold a your diluted Mod Podge or your own Mod Podge. And if you don't know how to make it, it's just white glue, like white school glue, with some water. Mine's a little bit too watery, but you basically mix like a part and a half of water to one part of the glue and mix it well and then you're going to take your orange uh, tissue paper and rip it into small pieces. Now you could totally use different colors and make like a uh, Frankenstein with green tissue paper or Dracula with red or purple tissue paper. You know, it's really up to you. But I'm just ripping this into tiny little squares. Okay, so I am taking my glass container, and by the way, if it has a sticker on the bottom, peel the sticker off, then take like a wet towel or tissue and wipe it over the sticker and it'll rub right off. And then I am taking my Mod Podge, diluted Mod Podge, which you can see is really runny, and I'm going to put it over a section of the glass and just kind of brush it in a thin coat, and then I will be sticking the little pieces of tissue paper to the bowl, glass, container, candle holder, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And the great thing about this is that it does not have to be neat. If you want it to be neat, go for it, have fun, but you literally just lay this over wherever. It's super, super easy. So I'm just continuing the process of putting the Mod Podge mixture or glue mixture um, over the candle holder and then adding more of the tissue paper. And as you go along, some pieces will be sticking up because they're overlapping. Um, and then you can just take more of the mixture and just put it over that so that it lays flat. So once you are done with that, you are going to go over the whole thing with glue mixture to make sure all of it's laying down. Like you can see there's parts sticking up and I'm just laying them down. And mine has a wrinkly kind of look, which I like, and it's kind of hard not to get it to do that or not to do that. So uh, yeah, so once you're done with that, you will be good to go. So once your piece is dry, you can take black paint and paint a face. If you don't have black paint or you don't want to use that, you could totally use black tissue paper to make a face. And as you can see here, I'm painting a traditional jack-o'-lantern face and it turned out weird. I tried to put a mustache on it, which looked horrible. So on the other side, I painted uh, Jack Skellington from A Nightmare Before Christmas face on it. And that's really cool because you can paint multiple faces on different sides of your piece. And uh, once that is dry, you can put a candle in it and you are good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give my video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this on different social media sites with your friends. And until next time, adios.